Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, Jeff back for yet another contest response. Glenn Kellaway vacationing down there in Orlando, Florida is on the cusp of 1,000 subscribers. Way to go, Glenn. I think you're going to get there any day now. Um, Glenn has been on a uh, big prog rock kick recently. And um, this is a great way really to get a lot of uh, recommendations out of people. So um, he wants us simply just to show three prog rock albums and I'm going to do that and I'm going to stick to three. There are so many um, great uh, prog bands and prog albums that are out there. I'm a big prog fan myself and there's so many to show. I'm going to try and stick away from some of the heavy hitters and maybe show three that you might not be familiar um, with uh, as much or you really don't see as often as some of the, like I said, the heavy hitters. So the first one is a Canadian prog rock band called Menege. And this is their self-titled album from 1975. This picture really says it all about them. Prague, of course, uh, and these guys are no exception. They're um, very organ heavy, uh, but these guys originated from Quebec. I'm not exactly sure if it was from Quebec City or Montreal, but um, again, 1975. Um, and I think their first three albums were, were probably um, their biggest, but this one is quite good. And this is, uh, I believe it's an original Canadian on the Harvest label, who of course uh, hosted um, many different uh, prog acts. So that's Menege, self-titled debut. The second one is a um, Scottish prog band who were formed in 1969 in Glasgow called Beggar's Opera and this is their second album called Waters of Change originally released in 1971 but I believe this is a 1974 reissue gatefold I mean they just look like they're a progressive rock band and they are this album is really quite good this is a German pressing, uh, like I say, it's a 1974 reissue on the Spaceship um, Vertigo label. Uh, again, organ heavy, quite good. Um, Beggar's Opera. And the third one, and probably of the uh, three that I'm showing here, um, this is probably my favorite album of the three of them. Um, this is a UK band um, called Fields, and this is a self-titled album simply called Fields, also a gatefold album. And this is a trio group from the UK. And uh, Graham Field, who is right here on the left, he formed Rare Bird. And um, went on right after Rare Bird split, went on to... Uh, to, he was a founding member of Fields. Um, Andy McCulloch here in the middle. Uh, you'll know him from, uh, he played early on in King Crimson. And the third chap here, Alan Berry, he played, let me see, it was right here. He played in a band called The Downlands, which featured himself and also uh, Mike uh, and Peter Giles. Um, I think it was uh, Michael Giles. He was also on... Um, King Crimson's first album and split with uh, McDonald and Giles, I believe. Maybe I'm mixing that up, but I'm getting my two uh, guys mixed up. But anyways, again, this um, this is a great album. This is an original Canadian pressing on the yellow epic label. Another great one. So there's three prog um, albums for you, Glenn. Um, I highly recommend... Uh, all three of them, if, if you're interested in, uh, in Prague, these are three great ones. So uh, congratulations on 950 plus. Um, I think you're going to get to 1,000 uh, really soon. Folks, if you're not familiar with Glenn, I'll link his channel in the comments below. And thanks very much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.